not working these tandem trucks. Do any of y'all have your twin cars? That's a negative on 281. Okay, we got a lot of activity on our radio this morning, so it's really irritating me because I can't communicate with you guys. Um, today, we're going to head out and do what's called milling. Uh, so, milling is where a milling machine mills the road so they got an old road they're gonna rip up and they're gonna put new road down so to do that you guys have seen this probably countless times in your life you'll see a dump truck and behind the dump truck is a machine that's tearing up the road with a conveyor belt that's loading it into the truck and shooting it into the, the box of the truck here so we got four trucks that are heading out to uh, Richmond Hill today to go meet up with the company a road company and uh, we're going to spend a day milling a road, which is uh, something I've never done before, so I'm gonna be shown how to do it. Basically, I get the gist of it. The machine's gonna move at a certain speed. I need to be in front of that machine and line the chute up so it fills the front of my truck first and works its way toward the back. There's probably gonna be a flag man or somebody there to tell me what to do, where to go, uh, and all that crap. Uh, two people two trucks out of the four trucks have experience with it um, so it shouldn't be a problem we should be able to get through this just fine uh, so I'm gonna stop up here and grab a coffee and wait for the trucks to meet up with me here and then we're gonna convoy on out there and uh, I think I'm gonna be lead truck because nobody else knows where they're going and I am a master of knowing where I'm going Because of the stay-at-home order, 
and only essential people are allowed out to work, it's crazy how empty these streets are. This time of the day, during a work week, it's not too, too bad going this way, but going into town, it, it's crazy. Crazy busy. Man, it's, it's like a freaking ghost town, man. It's like a hurricane's about to hit us. Sad. Everybody staying in their house. Okay, so right now we are pulled over on the side of the road here. We're in a convenience store parking lot uh, with a sign that says fried chicken. So I went in and I said, are you guys going to have fried chicken for lunch? And she said they will. And I said, well, hot day. I'm a happy boy. So we're going to have fried chicken for lunch. But we're supposed to be working this road today. And right now all I see is this little roller and a little bit of junk built up over there I see I see no evidence of the job site though <laughs> so I called my boss and said hey we're here we got here 15 minutes early we're pulled off on the side of the road we are at the spur of 144 and 144 um, so I'll let you know as soon as something gets cooking Unfortunately, I don't understand Spanish hand signals, so um, he's not doing things that make sense to me, like being in the military, like military hand signals. Uh, but I'm kind of getting it, but I think I kind of frustrated the operator uh, on this last run. Uh, but it'll be all right. He'll be okay. I'll just throw him an enchilada or something for lunch. He'll be okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's basically common sense. You back up underneath the conveyor belt and he's gonna tell you to go this way or go that way or, or go uh, or stop um, or keep it rolling uh, or whatever, I don't know. I think this means keep it rolling or maybe faster and this just means go, I don't know, I whatever. I'll figure it out. If crap starts going on my window, I'll know I'm going too slow and, and if I see stuff hitting the pavement behind me, I know I'm going too fast. Other than that, we'll be all right.
where we're bringing the load, so let me show you guys that. already off. We start lifting this bad boy up. Make room for this guy. Let him come on in. Neutral and let's roll, baby. I told that guy to come on. up baby nice and slow don't break the box nice and easy ride the brake a little bit of throttle there we go lock that bad boy PTO's off and we go get another round going to get number four so now we have to put down the time that we got here 11 20 and the time that we don't Eleven twenty-five, and then I put back down the time I get back to the machine, and just keep on keeping on. Oh man, I tell you what, 
we're going to get the uh, eighth load right now. No, the seventh load. The seventh load right now. Um, it's about an hour round trip. And uh, I haven't stopped. I bring my own food. I got a lunch pail down here, you know, a cooler, whatever. So um, I bring like little nutritional bars, um, hard boiled eggs. I'll bring peanuts with uh, like coconut oil and salt and um, sweetener, the stevia leaf monk fruit sweetener instead of sugar because sugar screws me up. Um, <clears throat> but something that I found that if you go back in my community tab, if uh, like I read ingredients, I don't just look at nutrition labels, but I actually read ingredients. And if you look at a jar of peanuts, <clears throat> salted peanuts and lightly salted peanuts have sugar in the ingredients and has added sugar under carbohydrates, added sugar, not the naturally recurring sugar that's in the carbohydrates where it might just say sugar, but it'll say includes added sugar, one gram or two gram per serving. So if you get salted peanuts or lightly salted peanuts, it's got sugar. If you get unsalted peanuts, then the ingredients is only peanuts and there's no added sugar, no included added sugar. So that's really weird. But how boring is a handful of unsalted peanuts? I mean, it's boring. So I take peanuts, walnuts and pecans and I put them and they're all no sugar no salt I put them in a Tupperware tub a little Tupperware tub I don't have them with me today I didn't bring them today and then I take a little coconut oil like olive oil and stuff you cook with a little coconut oil and I and I put a little bit on there then I take salt from my grinder and I put some coarse salt on then I take a stevia packet stevia leaf with monk fruit it's a um, sugar-free sweetener. I put that in there, put the lid on it, and then shake it around so that the oil coats everything and the, the salt and the sweetener covers everything. Man, that is an amazing snack. Very healthy, very good, very big blend of proteins and amino acids in the different nuts. And of course, you get the, uh, you get the um, healthy fats, which are really good for you good for your joints, they're good for your brain, and uh, healthy fats help ward off keeping unhealthy fats in your body. So that's something that I do. Now they don't take money out of our pay for lunch. We're local. We don't do the uh, 150 mile straight shot. You know, if, if you're going to drive, I think it's, is it 150 mile or 50 mile or 100 mile? I don't know. I think it's 150 miles. I think if you're going to go 150 miles straight shot as the bird flies then you have to keep a log book we don't keep log books we don't have to now we're still bound by laws with DOT we can't drive we can't work more than 70 hours you know and I think we can't drive like 65 hours or something like that we have to have like downtime well you're not driving I don't think we're allowed to drive 70 hours um, I think you're allowed to drive maybe 60 hours or something like that 65 hours or something like that a week and the other times that you're on the clock it has to be doing something else um, so but we don't have to keep a log book for that so basically we're not allowed to work more than 70 hours in a seven hour day that's basically what it boils down to uh, so with that said we don't we don't stop for lunch we don't take 30 minute breaks or 45 minute breaks or hour breaks or anything like that but they also don't hold that out of our pay. Now, my last company, they did. They used to hold 30 minutes every day out of your pay. And we were paid commission. So we would haul ass to get as much money as possible, then we would lose 30 minutes every day. Kind of didn't make sense. Here, we're paid hourly. We're not paid to haul ass and do unnecessary risks. And they don't take 30 minutes out where you think they would. They'd be like, look, man, you're paid by the hour. We know you're stopping to eat, but we're going to take our 30 minutes back. They don't do that. We don't lose 30 minutes an hour. So I'm not going to do that. So if I'm going to stop to get something to eat, it's going to be something that I can grab and go. And when I get to, you know, 
either waiting in line to get loaded up or something like that, then I'm gonna eat real fast. I'm gonna eat in my truck because they're not holding the time out on me. So I bring my food, I bring the peanuts, I bring hard boiled eggs, I bring um, like slim fast, slim fast, um, no sugar shakes that has some protein in it, you know, something like that to keep me nourished during the day without fattening foods, no fat, no fattening foods, no, no uh, McDonald's, no Zaxby's, no nothing like that. So um, nutrition is key, man. Nutrition is key. So in order to stay on top of it, I bring my own food and, uh, and there you go. So if I work 10 hours today, 7.30 to 5.30, I get 10 hours pay and that's good. And I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so since the company's going to take care of me like that, I'm going to take care of them and I'm going to bring my food and, and do right. All right, guys, um, I'm number, uh, I'm going for number eight now. And it looks like the guy is signing our paperwork in the trucks behind me that are under the miller right now, or the milling machine right now. So it looks like this is our last run. So uh, I'll put you guys up on the dash for a few minutes. And we'll check out with some music and uh, close out today's vlog. I'll see you guys uh, on the next one. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I hope you enjoy these trucking videos. Give you a little perspective of what we do. And uh, yeah, I don't mind sharing it. So I'll see you guys on the next one.